Mr. Worthing, there's just one question I'd like to ask you. Much depends on your reply. When will your conscience is invaluable? Mr. Monkey, kindly answer me the following question. Why did you pretend to be my guardian's brother? In order that I might have an opportunity of meeting you. <laughs> that certainly seems a satisfactory explanation, does it not? <laughs> yes, dear, if you believe him. I don't. Let us not affect the wonderful beauty of his answer. Oh, true. And matters of importance style not sincerity is by today. Mr. Worthing, what explanation can you offer me for pretending to have, you have a brother? Was it so that you could come to town and see me as often as possible? Can you doubt it, Miss Fairfax? Five well, greatest acts upon the subject, but I intend to crush them. This is no time for Jim's skepticism. Their answer seemed quite satisfactory, especially Mr. Worthing's. His seems to have the stamp of truth upon it. I am more than content with what Mr. Markley said. His answer alone inspires one of absolute credulity. So you think we should forgive them? Yes. I mean, no. <laughs> True. The matter is at stake that one cannot surrender. Which of us should tell them? The task is not a pleasant one. Could we not both speak at the same time? That's an admirable opportunity. Oh, I nearly always speak at the same time as other people. Will you take the time for me? Certainly. Your Christian name is still an insuperable barrier. That is all. <laughs> Our Christian names, is that all? We're going to be christened mm, this afternoon. <laughs> For me, you are prepared to do this terrible thing. I am. For me, you are right to face this fearful ordeal. I am. Now, oh, how dare they talk about the equality of the sexes. As matters of self-sacrifice are concerned, men are infinitely beyond us. We are. Play a moment of this Courage, which we will know absolutely nothing. Darling! Darling! <laughs> <laughs>